These in turn doctors spent five years training and are now graduates of medicine. They are in their final year of internship that will see them allowed into medical practice. These doctors are entitled to a living allowance of a pound to 800,000 shillings. But for four months now, they have not been paid anything. So no intern has been paid any money ever since last year. So we are, uh, we are down by four months, actually, without any kind of payment. And this is the kind of money we actually live on. We basically use this money for renting, feeding, transporting ourselves. But Mulago Hospital Administration say they will be paid in a week from now. Um, first and foremost, interns are paid, are paid quarterly. And uh, I am told that their pay is being processed because the Ministry of Finance has just release the money to government departments. Um, I don't speak for Minister of Health, but I have, I have uh, just heard from them that uh, they couldn't have been in position to pay because the Ministry had not made their quarterly release. Now that the release is here, I am told by end of next week, returns will have been paid. So we ask them to be patient as their payments get processed. The General Secretary of the Medical Workers Association, Dr. Ekwaro Oboko, says these interned doctors do most of the work at the hospital and ought to be paid. Two things may happen. One, they may go on strike. And as a Uganda Medical Association, of course, we don't condone strikes. But if they call you and say, look, my landlord is chasing me. Look, I'm failing to even get food. Some of the interns are actually hungry because they are not being given food at places where they are working. Okay? which used to be our case. We used to live like kings, we used to live large. When I was an intern, we would have food at where we were working. Okay? So, they are likely to go on strike. And for us, we don't necessarily say we will support them. But we are not going to stop them if they decide to strike. The interns also revealed that they work in harsh working conditions without food, accommodation and transport. We have really been run, running out of stocks several times, several times. If any patient is being brought in, in a pool of blood, the patient needs your care, you really need to handle this patient, but you have no gloves to touch this patient. There are no drugs. There is nothing. Basically, you have to prescribe and send a patient out. You, don't, you even prescribe without examining a patient because there are no gloves. Uh, every day you have to feed, you have to transport yourself to the hospital, day and night, going to and fro. We really, we really do not serve anything, and we have nothing completely with us. Why did you serve the medicine then? Mm, that's the question I actually even ask myself. Some of us will actually end up, uh, maybe we shall have to go for farming instead. And yet they actually reprimand us for not coming to work. Being an intern simply means you're the, mo you're the donkey. They're actually the slaves. They do all the work. They're the most hardworking uh, public servants that I'm aware of in Uganda. They work more than the permanent secretary. They work more than the consultant. Dr. Ekwaro accused the Minister of Health of getting his priorities wrong. For instance, 12 billion shillings has been budgeted for doctors' uniforms, and yet workers continue to work without pay. They are saying is, can we look into the budget of health and reprioritize? Let me give you one item. Most recently, when the, 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 the Ministry of Health was in the Parliament presenting their budget framework paper, I, I read a line of 12 billion shillings being planned for to buy uniforms, okay, for health workers. Now, uniforms are important. We look smart, we look organized. We probably get rid of quacks. But uniforms will not save lives. So what I mean in terms of prioritization, we should uh, prioritize interventions which will save lives. I wouldn't disclaim myself by saying that if, if perhaps our payment is not enhanced, maybe the, the interns have to look for their options of survival. Maybe they sit back home, they don't work, because they cannot transport themselves. I've received a lot of complaints from my from fellow interns telling me we cannot go to the hospital because we lack transport today. From Bogoro to actually Mulago, I know an intern who actually puts from Bogoro to Mulago. Over thirty percent fresh doctors live for greener pastures where they earn better wages. It indicates um, that about about eighty five percent of freshly graduated doctors from the, from Uganda actually would prefer actually moving out to work from outside the country because. Uganda doesn't offer them anything. They don't value. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.